Oh, there's trap. <laughs> what me? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Hey, hello, and welcome to another video. We're gonna continue our installments of meal kits with good food. This is the one that I have seen the most in Canada. We got a chef's plate and a good food flyer in the mail the same day, which is what sparked this whole conversation. Chef's plates already happened. Go watch that video if you haven't. We'll link to it, but we're gonna do good food. Yeah, just to remind you, if you weren't here for the Chef's Plate video, we are going to be ranking this on the same one that we had for Chef's Plate, even though that's not Good Foods Promises. It just kind of worked well, which were easy, savvy, quick for less. And then we're going to add, would we use it again? We'll film a quick video of us cooking up, hopefully quicker than last time, because there's so much footage. <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to make these ones shorter. <laughs> so let's take a look at the website. Ooh, everyone will get to see my new widgety phone screen. Get three free meals in your first basket that's better than $35 off, isn't it? Wait, how many meals in a basket? Chef's plate was only three. I like that they're saying they're fine fresh. I don't know if I believe them, but I like them. The ones from Chef's plate, all the meat was Canadian, it was local. The oh, sorry, I was scrolling through to look at it and now I got this pop-up. They're hard for, uh, no. They're hard for what? I don't like that they directed me away from their own page. I was trying to read about it and figure out what it is, and they've just forced me into pain. So their classic basket, so you can get two, three, or four recipes, two or four servings. Full price, three recipes, two servings, is $68.94, which I think is $10 more than Chef Plate was full price. Oh, you get three free meals in your first basket. Oh, see, they're being tricky again. They're saying three free meals, but a meal is two servings, so we're only giving you half of each one for free. That's why it's... Ah! Try got another Kubanko? Well, it's gonna be the same thing. They're giving us 30 off. Oh, it's like 50 cents cheaper to do it that way. Well, there you go. 50 cents. Three recipes, two servings per recipe. It should be the same amount of food. Now, just a side note, my mother has a friend who does this, and they said that for their family of four, they've been getting the two meals, able to split them off and give their food to their kids. This one might have leftovers with it, which is something I would definitely be interested in because I think that with the chef's plate, you weren't getting enough for a week's worth of food, getting rid of the whole grocery shopping experience and replacing it with this. I like that you can also go with two or four recipes. I think that if I was getting one regularly, I'd probably go with more meals than I need. So seven days a week. If you enjoy it and you enjoy the food, it's something that I looked forward to. Convenient for sure. This bugged me with the chef's plate too, that I'm putting in all my payment information and getting ready, but I haven't seen a single recipe yet. I haven't seen any of the choices yet. You will be able to set dietary preferences after checking. Do you not get to pick your recipes with this one? I don't know. Okay, so how do I? I'm not gonna be happy if we don't get to pick the recipes. If it's all rice, I swear to you. Wait for good food to take my money. Oh, okay, Wait here we go. For, oh. It's okay, so same idea. They've pre-selected three, but then we can look from it. Roasted Fioretto and cheesy gumeli. gumeli. It looks like a like like greens. Crunchy chicken schnitzel with lemon caper mayo. That sounds good. New Orleans-style tiger shrimp. More expensive, just to warn you. Easy prep. Okay, so these are the easy prep ones that are a little bit more. Posting the Wow, that's cool. You can oh. pass a platter with worm wow, you can get like brunch. Wow. So you got lots of different options for like what you'd want. And they also have a serving one. So like if you had like family and friends over, that'd be cool. You shouldn't have family and friends over though, because it's a freaking pandemic. Do you want to do a we more expensive do, one? I know, that's what I was thinking. Smothered pork chops over roasted garlic mash. Thirteen fifty three. So it's like two dollars more per serving, it's about the same. What is the artisan one? It's nineteen forty eight per serving, which is almost ten dollars more. Ten dollars per serving. So we're gonna do another one that's like the 15 minute one and see if it's a little bit better than the one that we got with Chef's Plate. Although they, I say thought 20 that minutes. they do say 20 minutes, so the 15 minute was like entirely incorrect. So we have pasta, chicken schnitzel, and a pork chop over roasted garlic mash. Order scheduled. Okay, perfect. Done. We've got our three things at two servings each. It tells you the price of each item. A subtotal of 7301, free delivery, $35 discount. We're paying 3801. We only paid $19 for the chef's plate one. So their deal was way better. For a first thing. But yeah. like it's only ten dollars off in the in the long run. So we'll see how much food we get in comparison to No, the but I plate. will say chef's plate was they gave us like forty dollars off the first one, twenty dollars off the second one, forty dollars off the third one, like three weeks in a row. Whereas this one they're giving us half off the the first week, but then it said right away you will pay seventy dollars per weekend. Good food is also the one that's more common in Canada, so a lot of people already have this delivery service, so they're probably not trying so hard to get new users as much as like chefs played it. So we'll see how much they give us for servings, because if it's more expensive, I would expect there's a little bit more food, or at least the product is more of a quality. And we'll check back with you then. Yeah, let's do it. Well, we failed at making that shorter. Hello, and we have our good food. <laughs> yeah, time to eat some food that is good. Yeah. It's a problem for- what the- why is there a footprint on our window? That's a good question. What the f- <laughs> <laughs>
Spider-Man? You've always been worried. Who was in here putting their feet on our windows? <laughs> Ew. So here's our good food kit. Let's open this. We so. got this delivered this morning. We weren't home. So six hours, seven hours ago. Seven hours ago. And we are just opening it now. So let's see how it looks. So far, this is almost identical to the chef's plate box. Even down to the same like corrugated cardboard they use. Three recipes, same as before. Oh, immediately there is more of a smell this time. You can smell the vegetable. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, it's because included in this is definitely cauliflower of some kind. More plastic than chef's plate, which I was not expecting. But oh, it's 100% recyclable though. Oh, it does say that. This is our smothered pork chop. The chicken schnitzel is probably the harder one. Tonight's dinner, chicken schnitzel. Mmm, schnitzel. With lemon caper mayonnaise. That's Delicious. Good. Okay, so I will say, I like the fact that they're in recyclable bags. That makes me feel better about the plastic. And they're smaller, like they take up less space in our fridge, which yeah. I like. And it looks like there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. We'll see how far this one goes. Oh, it's very cold in there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Again, you can recycle this. We've got pork chops. That's not recyclable. Boneless center cut pork chop. Canadian raised, <laughs> air chilled, never frozen, hand trimmed. Does that mean anything to you? No. We're gonna do something with this box, uh, which is the true test to which meal kit is superior. And that is give this box to Stanley and see if he likes it over his chef's plate box. Currently he's just fallen in love with the Tokyo well, treat box. That's true. Actually. And he has been hanging out in it endlessly because it is just the perfect size to fit him with the lid closed. It's so cute. Stanley, we have a box. You ready? Mm. <gasps> Oh no, he's not gonna like it because you just <laughs> threw it at the ceiling and hit him with it. I almost broke everything. I regret my choice. Starting with our potatoes. Steven is preheating the oven. I'm gonna cut some potatoes. I'm a little sad about the amount of potatoes. I mean like, what? for two people, I guess that's a reasonable amount of potato. Mélange de spice, zesty herb, spice blend. The spice blend mm. oh, smells it's like amazing. Lemony, kind of. Yeah. We're going a little rogue with this. We preheated the pan we're roasting on instead of doing parchment paper. Because when these hit, you'll hear. Oh, they already smell good. And that sizzle is going to make them crispy. Okay, while the potatoes rest, pat the chicken dry. While well, the potatoes roast, not rest. So this is two chicken breasts they gave us, and we're supposed to cut them in half. So that'll be four pieces of schnitzel between the two of us, which is actually, that's a pretty sizable amount. There's a lot of freaking chicken. There we go. Really? We're not even cooking anything. Coat the chicken in the mayo mixture. Then panko pressing to adhere. That looks so good. They look beautiful. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, they look so pretty. Taking the potatoes out halfway to flip them. With a little bit of- the Crispies. Crispy roastiness. Preheat your oven before you roast things. Preheat your pan. Well, your pan. <laughs> yeah, always preheat your oven. Ooh, mise en place. I don't know the exact translation, but it's basically putting your food into tiny bowls. Chris loves tiny bowls. I've never understood though. You have these tiny bowls and you lay them out in these little tiny bowls and then you have four tiny bowls to wash. I don't mind. <laughs> it's worth it for the it's tiny bowls. They want us to start cooking the chicken. All right, first piece of chicken going in. It's getting warm in here. Making the salad dressing to go with this little salad now. Parsley, radishes, radish. Radish is an underrated vegetable. I love radishes. They're radishing, darling. Radish. It's looking good. Okay, so this is our dressing. One side is definitely cooking more than the other. Because the frying pan we have is too big for our stove. I should have told you that, sorry. It's also off center, so I like See why you would want all that pre-done though is because you're kind of racing against the clock that we didn't set a timer for. Oh. Do we have a little sample piece of chicken we can try? You ready for itty bitty piece of chicken? Me. Why are you holding mayo? Oh. Oh, it's good. Mm. So our salad is done. Our potatoes we forgot about. Oh! No. Oh, they're perfect. Oh, they look beautiful. These beautiful little potato babies. They're like nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. Lemon caper mayonnaise. This is a lot of salad. Kind of a boring oh, salad, but it'll be very fresh. That was our problem with Chef's plate, was there wasn't enough food. Yeah. It wasn't as much as we thought it would be. Potatoes? They gave us really tiny potatoes, and we don't know if that's like the norm or not. I think that was an accident. They look great. Now we're just waiting on the chicken. Oh, the oven is over here under the sweater. Oh, perfect. That is the bubbles. I'm gonna see. This is a lot of lovely salad today. Looks pretty good. Well, I've got a beautiful plate here. Got some schnitzel, some salad, some potatoes, lemon wedge, a mayo to serve with it. It looks like a good dinner. I think the flavor will be the key thing because they kind of, I mean, they gave us a spice package. 
Time for dinner. Ah, are you okay? They both look beautiful. They do. The chicken looks amazing. That little bit that we've already had looks delicious. I think it's a lot of chicken too. Like there's still another piece yeah. of chicken right off of the plate. Definitely. So I'd say portion sizes are pretty good. Like we might have leftovers with this one. Uh-huh. Okay, ready? Clink. Mm. Delightful. Mm-hmm. Mm. Think. It's not dry. It's seasoned well. Mm. Well with the salad. It's very hot. <laughs> well balanced. Really good. Meal number one. Successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna go enjoy these. We'll see you guys for meal number two. Meal number two coming soon. Chris doesn't want to wear pants. Put on pants. <laughs> well, that has to go in the video now. Ooh, today I pissed off white people on TikTok. Hello. So today is day two of our meal prepping, and I didn't know Chris was gonna be here, so I'm very happy. <laughs> but we have preheated the oven. We have most of the things that we need. Out. We have a really loud, annoying cat, and we are ready to go. Roasted Fioretto, sometimes called coral flower or callalini. Callalini. And cheesy gimeli. So very healthy. Fioretto. <laughs> Mamma mia. Ariana Grande. Rigatoni. <laughs> One, um, One possibly gone bad garlic clove. <laughs> Roasted garlic. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, Granite Padano. Panko. Tuscan Sun Spice Blend. Garlic, red bell pepper, dried black olives, basil, oregano, salt, parsley, lemon, sunflower oil, black pepper. Finally, mascarpone, nay, and lemon. Mascarpone. So this is gonna be really good. Bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil. How much do we salt our water? Like the ocean, baby. Zest and quarter the lemon. Sounds like I need tiny bowls. Woo, bowling. I don't really wanna zest the lemon. We have to zest the lemon. Can I have a really tiny bowl for the zest? We don't actually have a very good zester. It's like okay, but it's the zest is too big. I want like a micro plane. This is like a macro plane. This is like a 787. Is that a big plane? Yeah. It's plain sound. Those look really nice. I'm cutting them a little bit smaller than they might want you to. They'll I roast better. So. I'm just doing vegetables right now. Mince the garlic. Done. No, we just squished it. <laughs> Kale's one of those vegetables that like people either love or they're like, ew, kale. I think a lot of people like kale. Well, it's it was overhyped at one point. Yeah, the kale train. <laughs> yeah, the hype train. Or the kale. kale train. Also, Trump has COVID. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so in a medium bowl, mix the mascarpone, heavy cream, and half the grana. I use too small of a bowl for this. <laughs> okay, so I've done everything except for chop the parsley, which I can do now. We're waiting for the pasta to come to a boil, and it never will because Steven won't boil it on it. Can I have a bigger knife than this to chop the parsley? Why did you grab it? You gave me this knife! Did I? <laughs> he just grabbed the knife by the blade. Grab bull by the horns. Grab the knife by the blade! Since we never put a lid on the pot, it will never boil. It's like a light simmer. It's about to Okay. Is that really how they want you to open that bag? <laughs> yeah. Make the granite banana breadcrumbs. There's some fucking terrifying animals on our freaking balcony right now. Look at that thing. Oh. What a pretty moth. Oh, it's terrifying. Oh god, the panko. Can we just shout out the real MVP of our kitchen? which is this weird spatula thing Steven's dad bought me for Christmas a couple years ago. I don't know where it's from. It's great, love it. You can stir with it, you can toss with it, like you can I, do whatever the hell you I want. use it for everything. Once again, the spice blend smells great. If you are not reserving pasta water to put in your sauces, you are doing pasta wrong. It's the best. It is, it's just a starchy, salty water that just, it, it really changes the texture of sauces. So then we switch to broil, top the pasta with two thirds of the breadcrumbs, return to the oven, broil. This is certainly thickened down to almost nothing. I don't even know if the broiler works on this oven. Are you all enjoying that sound? <laughs> Shut up! I think it's fine. It's fine. It looks great. Can you guys see that? Ooh. It's pretty good, right? It's actually a decent portion. It's a lot of pasta. I, I think that we might have successful leftovers for this one as well. Ready? Fiorelli? Fiorelli. Wasn't Fiorelli the girl from Recess? Spinelli. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Good. It's very crunchy, but I don't think it's undercooked. I'm so excited. So good. It's a little salty. That's my fault, probably. We're the ones who salted it, so. True. Can't blame good food but for that. You know what? A little lemon and it'll be fine. Oh, it's perfect. Um, so far, the good food recipes are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Tomorrow's dish is the quick recipe, too, right? Yeah. So we'll see how that goes, see if it compares to the chef's plate one that we didn't feel was quick. <laughs> and I will be cooking it by myself. Yeah. Okay, so part two of Steven Makes Dinner. Once again, I'm doing the fast one for some reason, and we're gonna see if I, a regular human being, can make dinner. Okay, 
we're ready. It also has 20 minutes, so hopefully that gives me just a slight bit extra of a lead and I'll be able to do this. Just making sure I got everything. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. All right, here we go. What? Oh, we got some salad -y stuff. We got some broccoli bits, some potatoes. Ooh, there's three potatoes. Ooh, we got some caramelized onions ready. We've got some whatever that is ready. Gooey stuff ready. We got some creme. We got some, stuff. I don't know what that is. And spice blend. Preheat the oven to 450. All right, preheating. Bring a pot of salted water to a boil. Okay, salted water pot. Oil. Salted water, we're good. Already portioned broccoli, that's nice. They didn't say I need a bowl. I don't know how this is gonna go. My oven is not preheated. I think it's gonna take a while. And didn't start off well, didn't preheat my water. Oh good, five minutes, cool. How the hell am I supposed to? Lost the broccoli. Hopefully that helps, I don't have a lid right now. I don't know where it went, I have no idea. I'm lost. <laughs> The oven preheated in better shape than I thought. Definitely will be done late though because it said 14 minutes and I don't have that. Make the mash. While the broccoli roasts, dice the potatoes and add the potatoes to the boiling water. Cook for 14 to 16 minutes until they're tender. How is it supposed to take 20 minutes? It takes 14 minutes for that one. It takes, Ugh. doesn't make any sense. And Chris is on his way. He's leaving early, so I mean, I still have time, but I'm definitely not gonna have this done by the time he gets home. Womp womp. Hi, my love. Is this Master Chef Stephen Amon? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the famous YouTube series Bad at Most. Are you cooking? Yeah. Uh -huh. Two tablespoons would be 30 milliliters, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm so hungry. Well, don't worry. There'll be lots of food, I think. I'll be upstairs soon, you See you soon. Bye. Potatoes are taking a long time, so I'm gonna have to start on the next step because I don't even have them on yet, and Chris is already on his way. Hi, my love. Hello. It smells interesting. It kinda smells like burnt potatoes. Well, that's good because there's no potatoes in there. Hi, internet. Steven doesn't use the lid for a pot, which we still I own. I couldn't find it. He uses a bowl. I couldn't find it, and I didn't know That's I needed so a lid. That's so weird. What's in there? Currently nothing. Oh, it's gonna be potatoes. Oh my god, you said to boil potatoes to mash them? Yes. Oh no, has he even been angry? Yes. Is he stressed? Yes. Have you... Why are you bugging me about the things I was already bugged about? <laughs> can I help? No, you're not supposed to. Oh yeah, can I have some water? No. Yeah. Can you get me water? No. Ooh, porky choppies. Porky boys. I don't really like pork chops, so hopefully this is good. Yeah, don't overcook them. But don't undercook them or we'll die. Onion caramelis. Chris, you're in the way. <laughs> Onion caramelis. Caramelis. That's me speaking French. What's this? I don't know. There's a bunch of things I don't know what they are yet. Well, it didn't take 20 minutes. What was that? The oh, you thing. set a 20 minute timer for the whole thing? Yeah. They give you freaking, you have to chop it parsley. All yeah. three meals we had contained a container of parsley. Well, like, this is supposed to be- Quick. Yeah. Is that timer on the stove for the pork chops? Yeah, to flip them. It smells good. Have you stirred your potatoes? Not Have yet. you stirred your potatoes? Your potatoes need to be stirred. Stirring my potatoes. We got fun and games. I'm gonna pour the beer down. Hey, go for it. Steven needs a drink. Yep. Did you just salt the salad? They said to. That's why he was in the bathroom. <laughs> this is Steven stirring a salad with a knife. Stirring a salad with a knife. We stirred your potatoes yet? No, not yet. You stirred your potatoes. I didn't set a timer for the pork chops, but you can see them on the side and they're not cooked yet. I'm really worried about them being dry. Only because that's my opinion of pork chops, not because I think they're dry. Them. Like it's just a dry meat. At this point, I'm just waiting for things. Is there still broccoli in the oven? Yes. Was there not supposed to still oh, be broccoli? Oh, it looks done. Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I think that I've decided in this moment that I'm going to submit Steven to be on like every cooking show. Like, I think he'd be funny on Nailed It. In the reserved pan of fawn. What the hell's fawn? So you're gonna add demi-gloss. Demi-gloss? Demi-gloss vado. I'm not helping. And let the record be shown that all I did was stir this sauce slightly for a minute. Steven did the rest. Can you move something so that I have space to do something? Oh, this kitchen sucks. You know, if you just gave us money, we could have a bigger kitchen and this would be more entertaining. Would it? So it's your fault. It's more relatable that our kitchen is the size of a shoebox. Mash the mixture. Something to mash. I'm trying. You won't buy me a new kitchen. 
Can't find anything. Thank you. I need a bigger kitchen where it's harder to find things. Can I help? No. I don't like how angry you're getting. Too. All I did was stir a sauce and find a potato masher. The potato masher was much appreciated. However, it did take a little long. Okay, well, <laughs> subtract 37 minutes from your 20 minute cook time because I couldn't find the potato masher. That sounds good. So you don't put like cream or anything in these? They're hand mashed with water. This doesn't look like good food. It looks like good food. Doesn't sound like good food. Is this supposed to be like the healthy way of making potatoes? You just use the starchy potato water instead of using milk. I guess they're vegan. No. Potatoes are vegan. <laughs> butter isn't. Oh, there's butter in them. <laughs> Those look like some yummy mashed potatoes. Um, our sauce doesn't look anything like theirs. Ours no, ours looks darker. Darker and like there's not very much of it. You know what's weird? I really like waiting until the end to taste everything, but that means I have no idea what kind of seasoning is in it until the very end when I'm eating it and thinking how salty it is. You should eat your food as you cook, people. You shouldn't cook people. I feel like if I was doing good food more often, I would probably do tasting more during cooking, but... This looks so good. One thing I like about good food is that every meal has contained a little bag of, like, seasoning, which means that the food has been well-seasoned, well-flavored food. Like, pork chops and potatoes and broccoli could be very boring, or it could be very good, and I think this will be good. Ooh, you're going fancy. Hopefully this is still warm, because it took me so long to make potatoes. Is pork ever warm? It looks like chicken. Yeah, a little bit. But if it was chicken, it might look slightly undercooked, so... Ding. Yes. 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 Ready? Yeah. Broccoli? Broccoli. Mm. It's good. Very cold because I it's cooked cold. it way too early. It's very cold, but it's good. Mm. Mm. It tastes like roast. They do a little good. bit. I don't know if the seasoning is, but they're good. Salad. It's a really good white balsamic vinegar. Whoever cut my food for me didn't do a very good job. Mm -hmm. The pork's not overcooked, it's not dry. The sauce is really good, it's very rich. Mm -hmm. Three successful meals. I'm actually pretty impressed with these three uh, good food meals. I think good food overall was much better. Chef's Plate, I think that they had really good meals, the food was good, yeah. but it seems like good food has a down. I think that all meal services need to figure out their 15 minute meals or their quick <laughs> meals because they are not quick. I think that one aspect of the quick meal that these services should be giving you is less dishes. I think they need to figure that out. And there's certainly ways to do these things with less dishes. If you're thinking of getting the 20 minute meal, don't. Don't, just don't. Unless. Unless you really want that meal. Yes, but we are going to rate them. So we have Savvy. So it's like the look, the-, the Four the, out of five I would say stars. four too. Yeah. I think overall, like the, the portion sizes looked good on the plate. 4.5, maybe right. almost five. I thought Good Food did a great job actually. Quick? In general, they were quicker than if we were to make a meal for ourselves. However, I wouldn't necessarily say they were crazy quick. That's right. I don't know if they're quicker than if we were to make them ourselves. It's in a bag in the fridge with all the ingredients in it already. Aside from that, like, I don't think it's quicker. If you're cooking a restaurant quality meal, then I think that yes, definitely it is quicker. Including the grocery shopping as well, because That's you don't true. have to do That's that. True. I'd say three. Easy? Yeah. Yeah, I like that the recipe cards are pretty easy to follow. Recipes weren't complicated. They're not for an, a beginner cook. I don't think it's for like an expert cook. For easy, I'm gonna go with four out of five. I would say four because of the quality. For less, yeah. This box cost us a lot more than Chef's Plate did. It's still cheaper than going to the grocery store, but because we got a discount. Full price good food is more money than Chef's Plate is. However, the portions seem to be bigger, but I'm still not sold that I couldn't cook these things for less. Yeah. Financially for less, no. If you value your time in not having to go grocery shopping and not having to plan meals, beyond clicking three meals and hitting send, then yes, it's for less. Then in that sense, I would give it like a four out of five. But if we're talking just dollar, it's like a one out of five. If we're talking just dollar value like of ingredients, they're not cheaper than buying the ingredients yourself. I think good food is much better quality mm -hmm. than Chef's Plate. Yeah, you're paying for it, but you're not paying much more for it. So I'd say it's worth it. Would I do it again? Yeah. I think that good food I would order Again, over chef's plate, hands down. Yeah. Again, this is not sponsored. So far, this is the one I would recommend. Because we might do another one. If there's one uh, that you think we should try and ask, let us know. I know HelloFresh is on the list. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. We love to hear from you. Let us know your favorite color. If you let us know your favorite color, we know you watched this part, which means you stuck around to the end. However, guess what? There's a joke at the end of this. We don't even know what it is yet. It's probably funny. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Let's eat.
Now I have to do the joke first. That was it. Look at the f***ing dish it! No, that was it. Ah! That was my joke. Ah! I'm not joking. <laughs>